driveway and go. afternoon and we're on the way to set up at MCM London Comic Con so today I'm going to show you a little bit of what it's like setting up the stall and then the rest of the weekend I'm going to show you around the con so we packed everything into the van this morning and there's been some delays on the motorway so we're gonna to have to be really quick setting up the stall today and I've got my hamster Tamago with me she's in a travel cage there it's got a towel over it um, to keep it dark for her because it's the middle of the night for hamsters and to keep the noise down. Sadly, Tamago won't be on the stall. We're just going to my mum and dad's to drop her off. This journey is taking forever. We're only going to have a couple of hours to set up the stall now. So when we get there, I've got to pick up my pass for the lorry wait. Then we've got to unload everything from the van across to our stall in XL. Then we've got a couple of hours to set everything up. So I'm going to put the camera away while we're unloading and I'll see you when we're in there. failed at doing more videos last night when we were setting up because it was such a rush but here we are it's Friday morning finally everything set up on the store and the show's just opened around my store here we are behind the scenes here's my cakes and places wallpaper i just love it it's so colorful i wish i could have this all around my house here's where i keep all the t-shirts so many t-shirts and i keep all the sizes organized so i can find them quickly for people got some more t-shirts on here here's all the earrings some cushions and the dresses at the bottom and more dresses here underneath there's the hoodies Let's go around the front. On this side, I've got lots of cushions. I might have a sleep on here later. <laughs> and there's the Alpacalypse hoodie. The dresses are here on my friends, the lady mannequins. This is the newest one, the shark dress. And I got some new signs that look a bit better than the old ones. Here's my earrings. I just love these little ladybirds. They're so cute and fuzzy. And you can get a whole set as well there. And here's my watches. We sold out of my very favourite one, the Rainbow Dreams. I think my next favourite is the watermelon, because it's so colourful. Here's my How to Make Sushi comics and Katoos. I didn't have time to put mine on this morning because I had to get up at 5.30am. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Maybe I'll put one on tomorrow. And then we're on to the t-shirt section. This is the new, newest one, Mermaid. And around this side, I've got my clothes rail with some dresses and hoodies on it. These are so warm and cozy for the winter. Oh, and cute with cat is, glows in the dark. I just realized I forgot to put Dia de los Meows out. There we are, I wish it was ironed. What are you excited about doing at MCM? Shopping! <laughs> so much shopping! I just loved going around all the stores and seeing, you know, all the anime stuff, you know, it's really, really fun because we don't really get a lot of anime stuff in my area. We've actually just been to, like, the sort of mid-fest and gaming area and we met people like Nudarella, which was really cool. There's one store I've been really excited to go and see, which is Tokidoki, my number one favourite designer. And I always thought that she'd come to London Comic Con, but they never have before. And here it is! Same in the world, you know. It's a dinosaur invasion. MC 
ATM is a good place to get anime figures because you can have a look at them before you buy them. Um, but there is a price difference between what you would pay in the UK and what you pay in Japan, which I can really notice as I've just come back from Japan. I just saw some Love Live figures in the same series as the Maki-chan that I bought. And in Japan, they were 1,200 yen, which is just less than 10 pounds. And here, they're 29 pounds. So there is quite a difference. I mean, I know you're paying for people to ship them around the world, and these people have got to make a living too. Um, but yeah, they're a lot cheaper in Japan. <laughs> I got this Hatsune Miku figure when I was in Tokyo um, for 1800 yen and here it's 69 pounds. I got today at MCM, I did buy quite a few things from the Tokidoki store, but I wanted to buy everything. A Tokidoki cap, a Donutella blind box, a Unicornos blind box. These um, metallic Unicornos are only at Comic Con, and a Mermicornos. And they also had their cactus pets, which aren't officially out till tomorrow. And I got the cat and the hamster and I also got this t-shirt with Sandy and Gudetama and that's all in a big Tokidoki bag I also got a necklace from Little Miss Delicious she's the one that made my popcorn necklace that I'm wearing all the time I got a sushi this time I love her designs Phil got a Gundam this is a pretty cool one with an anime girl head. This is for my brother's birthday. This won't go out till after his birthday, so we're okay. It's been really nice to see a few people I recognize today and meet lots of new people. Um, and a few people asked me what it's like having a stall, um, who are thinking of having a stall in the Comic Village. So I say you should definitely go for it. And a few other people asked when my videos from Japan are coming out. And the answer is soon. After I've edited this one, I'm gonna start editing the Japan videos. So they'll be coming up really soon. We're going home now. It's the end of the day on Saturday. We're going home now. <laughs> We're going home now. It's the end of the day on Friday. It's been a pretty good day for Friday. Oh, and did you see my bow I made matching my cute explosion dress? See you tomorrow. yesterday but in a burrito which was massive by the way do you like my bow I made for, uh, to go with my starry night dress I made it twice as big as the instructions said and it turned out ginormous It's almost the end of the day on Saturday.
Saturday and I haven't left the store today apart from to go to the bathroom. That's how it is on Saturdays, that's a busy day at MCM. So many people, I'm kind of glad I'm behind the table. My brother Tom helping out today, he's going to help us pack up all the boxes and rep his games company. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but today, me and Phil are double sharking. <laughs> What's your favourite anime? Oh, Madoka Magica. Naruto. I guess my biggest one would be Naruto. Yeah. Broken Hair Academia or One Punch Man? Oh no, that's really hard. Um, mm, favourite anime? Vampire Night, because that was the very first anime I ever watched, so it has a special place in my heart. Oh, and Attack on Titan. a few of these onigiri for lunch. This is what I've had for lunch like every day. They do a Japanese burrito. We're gonna see if we can take a sneaky look in the gold theater. They didn't let us in. If you get the blind boxes, they let you trade with the ones on display. So I've been looking out for the cactus pets that I want. I really wanted to get the frog or the turtle or the fish, but the fish is one in 32, so it's a really rare one. This is new, they've got a fun fair at Comic Con. I got a very early Christmas present, thank you! It was Dells from Hyper Japan, I didn't recognise her. <laughs> I can't believe it's the end of the weekend already. If this is really bad quality, it's because I'm filming on my phone, I put my camera away already. Uh, the guys are just packing all the boxes into the van. And look, my stall is empty! And this is what it looks like at Comic Con after it closes. Take some faces. Gone away.